Okay. So I hit a buck last night and a doe this morning. Um, we're out here tracking her. We've been tracking her for about five hours and we ran out of blood. Um, we did the umbrella pattern for about about a half a mile and no luck. So I'll just take you along for the ride here. Uh, here's the blood trail here. I'll show you a little bit. There's some blood there. It's starting to rain. Five, almost six hours. There's some washed away blood there. And there, and there. And all over the tree there. So, there were three of us out here earlier from 8 o'clock to noon. And then we went back for lunch and came back out to look some more. And still can't find her. So, as you can sort of see, we hung up some tish, biodegradable tissue paper. There's some more blood there. And this is where we start to lose her a little bit. There's some more blood there. Starting to get washed away by the rain. There's our tissue paper. I'm not exactly sure. Here's some more board here. There's a whole bunch more blood. There's actually some... Looks like chunks of lung. Maybe her liver. There's where she kicked up the ground. More blood. <coughs> more blood. A lot of guys use the orange tape. We use the tissue paper because it's biodegradable or toilet paper when it doesn't hold up very good in the rain. But we've been going at it, like I said, for almost six hours. So there's some more tissue paper. This is where we lose the blood trail a little bit. Right. There's a couple of drops on one of the leaves over here. And then there's one single drop right here. Somewhere. I'm not sure what they do with it, but this is the last spot. Um, so what we did is 
here's a sport track GPS and I'll kind of show you here you can't really see but you can see all the zigzag lines and there were three other people with me here's a little better look at the umbrella pattern and no luck and now it's raining six hours this is the first uh, the first deer that I've hit and not been able to find a doe and uh, I shot a uh, buck last night and wasn't able to find him either he didn't have any blood trail whatsoever no arrow no hair no nothing this one at least had I found the arrow I didn't get a chance to show you guys it's up by the tree stand and lots of blood and like I said we looked uh, a good half a mile uh, if not more back in there and then it goes to state uh, private property so not what you can do but it's part of hunting um, we're gonna look for another hour or so and uh, that'll make it uh, about seven seven and a half hours and call it I mean there's only so much you can do so plus it's raining like a raining start starting to rain hard so it's gonna wash away any spots of blood and the last spots of blood were right here one and two spots that was it it all petered out so we're gonna take a jog over here and it seems like she was going to the right if you can kind of see in here she was tracking to the right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and set a course on the GPS and track to the right and if we get her I'll let you guys know but not looking good so far